countdown is on. Just three more days until the eclipse. And many have made their plans to witness the epic event well in advance. But for those procrastinators, we have good news. It is not too late. Yeah, our next guest is here to share some last minute travel tips so you don't miss out. Please welcome the managing editor of The Point Sky. Clint Henderson. Oh, Thanks Clint, so much we for need being you. here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you say it's not too late. No, absolutely. There are not. still hotels. There is. Break this down for us. Okay, so people have been booking for a year trying to get hotel rooms, Airbnbs, etc. A lot of things are sold out, but I am finding last minute availability is popping up. So I think hotels got a little too aggressive with pricing. So I am starting to see some hotel rooms opened up that had said sold out before. So look to book last minute with points. This is when your points and miles can really save the day because you don't want to pay a thousand dollars a night for a hotel room at a super eight or a mm -hmm. Hyatt place, which is what we're seeing price wise right now. Yeah, that's crazy. They a are thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Yeah. So tell us about these eclipse flights that airlines are offering. Oh my gosh, amazing. So uh, airlines have specific flights that they are pointing out to people to book to see the best views of the eclipse. So what I think is gonna happen is pilots are actually gonna ask FAA for clearance to like go on the eclipse path and actually show their passengers the eclipses. But there's special flights that the airlines have arranged that you can still get tickets on for as low as $300 or 15,000 miles. So those flights are still available that they've been advertising. A few are sold out, but uh, really extraordinary opportunities to see the eclipse from the air. Now, whether you can get a window seat on those planes, that's to be I was about to, to say, yeah, what's the best vantage point? Because if you're in the aisle, yeah. you're pretty much out of luck. Yeah, right? but I think the pilots will go out of their way to try to arrange it so the maximum number of passengers are able to see. Mm. And that's why the FAA has also said, hey, pay attention, you could have delays because of the eclipse and then traffic's gonna be really bad too. Okay, so let's talk about that traffic situation because yeah. not all of us are fancy enough to be able to fly. So yeah. it, is it still possible to drive to see the eclipse? Absolutely, so that's what a lot of people did in 2017 when we had a partial eclipse. People drove and then it created 10 hour traffic jams in some cases. Because people pull over on the side of the road. Exactly. Black and traffic it, too. It's like getting out of a football game, then everyone leaves once it's over, everyone leaves at the same time. So what we're telling people to do at the Point Sky is please book a hotel room or at least spend a few hours in whatever location you choose to go to so that you're not part of that traffic jam at the end of it. Mm. Mm. Also then you feel better about yourself. Yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And CBP says the borders will remain open. You're gonna see this eclipse in parts of Mexico in Canada, so the border will remain open. But again, another warning, just be prepared for traffic. I oh, can't wait. It's so exciting. Though. It is so exciting. Thank you so much, Clint. Clint really a lot of great you. info. And this important programming note, we'll have nonstop coverage of the historic eclipse on Monday with a special GMA3 right here at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And ABC News anchors David Muir and Lindsay Davis lead in a special event with National Geographic at 2 p.m. streaming on all ABC platforms. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.